Welcome back to the channel. What are we doing, Emily? We're going snow camping in October. And we somehow talked our friends into coming with us to make bad life decisions. And we let them use our Toyota and four wheel pop up camper. So we'll see what happens this weekend. It's going to be cold and there's a lot of snow up here in that little storm. I don't see them behind us. Uh -oh. It's good to have the van back out. Actually have it in four wheel drive and do a little van wheeling. We have the diesel heater which will keep us nice and toasty. And those guys have a decent propane heater. So between that and a raging campfire, I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, there they are. Let's get to camp. Hey guys. Well, I don't think we were planning on it, but we're doing some snow camping. And then, check this out. Lake, full moon. Dogs are partying. We'll stay warm. Someone left us a lot of wood and some of it's oak. So we don't have to scavenge for any. We brought some boxwood, but it's a good weekend. We're in. Just taking a little walk around the lake here, headed over to the dam. Uh, we just read on a post over here that the dam was built in 1868. Crazy to think about. Um, but there was like an actual town here at one point and they used to mine for gold. And so I was in the late 1800s and then they found out that they really didn't have a way of separating the gold from the rock. And the town of like 2000 people that had hotels, brothels, saloons, a school, a church back in the day, like really pristine shape. They just totally abandoned it because they had no use for the gold. Um, they couldn't, they couldn't use it. So crazy to think about all the history here. It's out in the middle of nowhere and I just can't even imagine trying to survive a winter out here like we're here late October and it's already snowing and like last year this area probably had like 20 feet of snow on it at one point so crazy to think about anyways checking it out and uh, be cool to find some of the old foundations I guess the cemetery is still here but we'll see on a 
long, long journey. I'm traveling towards the sun. I'm going on a long, long journey. Gotta find out. Camp is way the over there somewhere. Gone. Gotta find out <laughs> where the sunshine's gone. Well guys, it's been a blustery day. It's been super windy and we've been in the van. Brooke and Matt have been in the four-wheel camper for most of the day playing games. It's super cold. I think the wind chill right now is like 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So we just got enough of a break in the wind to make some Dutch oven ziti, baked ziti for dinner tonight. So we're gonna join that and try and stand out around the campfire for as long as we can, but it's definitely chilly. Yeah, definitely an inside night. So 
that's a wrap on this weekend's camping adventure. We had a great time, but it was cold. Um, but awesome to have our friends Brooke and Matt out using our four wheel. We had our van and then my brother and sister-in-law came by to join us for dinner one night. Um, and although such a fun time, I'm ready to go home and take a hot shower because the wind is picking back up again. Didn't sleep very much last night and uh, looking forward to getting back home. Anyways, I hope you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more adventure out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs>